Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss Archimedean Spiral. For that, I am taking uh, some data. For that, uh, let us assume uh, maximum radius is equal to 90 mm. Minimum radius is 30 mm. And uh, let us also assume the number of convolutions number of convolution is equal to 1 so uh, uh, ultimately this means that uh, uh, our moving point takes 360 degree number of convolution is uh, nothing but this uh, one convolution means 360 degree so in 360 degree the moving point uh, starts from the uh, uh, start from the distance of the 90 mm from the fixed point and uh, completes its journey uh, or end end its journey at the 30 mm from the fixed point anyway you are uh, going to see this uh, so let us first draw maximum radius let us draw a circle with the maximum radius equal to 90 mm so this is Let's take taking the radius. <coughs> okay, I'm taking the same distance, ninety mm. The one circle with the ninety mm radius, another circle with 30 mm radius once you complete this divide this two circles into eight equal parts or 12 equal parts I will go for 12 equal parts Okay, so now circles are divided into 12 equal parts. Uh, now the next step is to uh, divide this gap between uh, circles into some number of equal parts. For that uh, you uh, consider this number of convolutions multiplied by number of parts on circle number of parts on circle so we have number of convolution 1 here number of parts on circle we have uh, taken 12 so ultimately we need to divide gap between these two circles into 12 number of equal parts so <coughs> this distance is 90 mm this distance is 30 mm so 90 minus 30 that is gap is of 60 mm this 60 mm needs to be divided into 12 equal parts so 60 divided by 12 5 mm for each of the part okay so I'll 
divide this gap between two circles into 12 number of equal parts okay now depending on the clock uh, clockwise rotation or anti clockwise rotation uh, as as asked in the problem uh, you can give numbering if you if you want to go for the clockwise uh, rotation you can start numbering from this side if in anti clockwise direction start direct uh, drawing it from the right to left okay so i'll go for this 0 this 1 2 3 okay on the circle also i'll mark the number just for the reference okay so now uh, uh, it's very simple to construct this with the center and radius equal to 1 okay I repeat put your rounder on the uh, center of the circle okay and take the radius for the point 1 and with this radius draw an arc up to the line of 1 okay you can simply uh, mark this point okay if you don't want to draw entire arc you can only mark the point on the line of 1 similarly radius up to the point 2 and draw this arc up to point 2 and keep on doing this for all the point 3 up to 3 and 4 okay so I hope you got the idea it's very simple you keep on doing this now I'll just uh, don't waste my time to draw entire arc I'll just mark the points okay 7 to 7 then 8 to 8 then 9 then 10 11 and last is 12 it's the point itself so mark this points as p1 this p2 p3 p4 p6 p7 p8 Okay, now connect all this point starting from this point P0. Okay. By freehand sketch or with the help of French code, whichever you find easy for you. I always prefer the freehand sketching. Okay. So that's all about the Archimedean spiral. I'll uh, once again explain the <coughs> uh, entire procedure. But before that, uh, understand what we have done. Uh, that is, uh, in Archimedean spiral, basically, this moving point P is uh, ha has has started its journey from this 90 mm distance from the center, and it has ended its journey at the distance of 30 mm from the center. So maximum radius is 90 mm, minimum radius is 30 mm. Sometimes it may uh, possible that uh, uh, you, you may be asked that uh, this point is uh, uh, vanishing in this point at the end of the journey. That means minimum radius is zero. Okay. In the number of convolution can uh, can be one, 1.5, 2, 2.5 likewise. Right. 
or maybe in between this uh, numbers 1.25 it can anything right so basically it is uh, the uniform movement of this moving point starting from uh, one particular uh, position to the uh, ending at the particular position okay uh, okay <coughs> so overall uh, you need to first draw two circles with the given radiuses then divide this two circles into 12 equal parts okay then gap between these two circles uh, should be divided uh, according to this and uh, then uh, by giving the numbering uh, for uh, anti clockwise or clockwise manner whichever you find uh, easier or uh, if it is asked you need to do accordingly and then uh, from 1 to 1 2 2 2 3 2 3 you can uh, likewise mark the points and you can join these points you will get the Archimedes spiral. Thank you.